it's Wednesday Cardoso from Socially Conscious Arabia, and I'm here with creator and founder of CareZone, Ritesh Talani. So Ritesh, what exactly is CareZone? So CareZone is a platform that's enabled by a mobile app, uh, which we'll see in a few minutes, um, that essentially allows its users to identify brands that they would want to associate with. Um, so you basically use our app to see a list of, of outlets that are part of our network that are around you and you can see what's closest and simply visiting these outlets gives you what we call care zone coins and these are paid for through advertising so you walk into a store you see an ad and, and usually an advertiser would pay for that ad to be shown and the publisher would pocket that as revenue we actually use that to reward you for again visiting our, our, our partner outlets um, once you're in the outlet you can make a decision whether or not you want to spend your money there and you basically get a percentage of what you spend given back to you, again, in the form of care zone coins that are paid for this time by the outlet themselves, the retailer that you spent your money with. Now, and these can be anything from you know, shops where you can buy clothes, a cinema, a restaurant where you have a meal, and so on and so forth. So it's everyday things. Um, now, these coins that you collect, half of them you get as my coins, right. and the other half as care coins. My coins is what you would use towards you know, redeeming towards rewards for yourself, just like with most other loyalty programs. Um, care coins is what you can give on to a good cause. Um, now, the beauty of CareZone is we actually give you a menu of options to pick from. Um, and they're basically campaigns and initiatives with various causes. Uh, and hopefully you'll be able to find your favorite cause in there as well and, and help support them through, again, everyday activities. Uh, now, you can also choose to give the my coins away to your favorite cause as well. If that's if you want to do more good, uh, you don't necessarily need something for yourself. Cool. Um, so give me a bit of background into yourself. How did you get involved into social good? Uh, well, so I, I basically grew up in, in Dubai. I spent a lot of time here. I went away to college in, in, in the U.S. and I spent some years away from home after that too uh, in consulting. I did some telecom. Um, and when I moved back, I knew I eventually wanted to be an entrepreneur. I, that's why I went and got an MBA in the first place. And I wanted to, to be an entrepreneur, but at the same time, make a difference, make an impact. And uh, I didn't want to do something as simple as, you know, for example, giving away a percentage of the profits that my company makes to a good cause, which is CSR. I wanted to build a platform that actually empowered others to make a difference, a change as well. Um, and so, you know, we all give money out of our own pockets to our favorite causes, whether a company or an individual. I wanted to build a platform that allowed people to not just give, in fact, not give through their own pockets, but to convert what they spent into charitable giving. And, and you know, the UAE in general is you know, a society that leans more towards consumerism than many other parts of the world. And so we spend a lot of money on all sorts of things, whether it's eating out, the clothes we wear, the cars we drive. Um, and so we have more potential to actually make a difference than most other parts exactly, of the world. Exactly, exactly. Um, but I mean, pioneering, pioneering such a new concept in the region, you must have faced a lot of obstacles. What's one of the major obstacles that you've come across? Well, setting up a business in, in the UAE is a major obstacle in and of itself. It's expensive, you have to get a trade license, um, you have to rent, office, uh, rent an office, and, and the rent for, for that office space is probably gonna be quite expensive as well. Um, but that aside, when you're developing something that has never been tried and tested anywhere else in the world before, let alone this region, um, you come up across a lot of resistance from potential partners who we need before we can launch. Um, and, and so convincing them, showing them the value, uh, that takes time. And, and yes, you will come across those, those few partners that, that see that value right off the bat, and they will be the pioneers, the ones who will support initiatives like CareZone. And, and so when CareZone launches, the partners that you see on board on day one are the brands and outlets and advertisers that are you know, a step ahead of everybody else. And, and it's great to be meeting more and more of those people, especially now that we have something tangible to show them in the form of right. a beta version of the app. So we're now beginning to gain that momentum. So you just said beta version of the app. Can we check out the app? Sure. The first screen you see when you first start up CareZone is a listing of all the outlets by distance. Now, keep in mind, 
this is a beta version of the app and not all the outlets you'll see here are confirmed yet. Um, but as you scroll through this list, you'll see stuff further and further away. Now, if you're looking for something specific, you can go by category and let's say you want to eat out, you click on restaurants, you'll see a listing of all the restaurants. Let's say I'm in the mood for Lebanese, so I click on Mashawi and the closest one first. So you'll see Mashawi's profile view. You'll see you get 20 coins if you simply visit them. You can see a description of the, the, the outlet. You can see it on a map. So that's the outlet, that's us. Um, if you tap on the telephone number, it automatically dials and you, you can make reservations and you can see the hours of operation. Um, you can also see up to six promotions that Mashawi decided to put in the app, no matter where you are, whether you're sitting at home or in the office or at the outlet. When you're ready to buy, you simply inform the cashier or the waiter He'll bring you a code based on how much money you're spending with them, and that corresponds to a certain number of coins. You hit scan code, point your camera at the code, and it validates it automatically. Now, let's say you want to see how many coins you have now. So you can go to the Me tab. Now here, it's actually connected to Facebook, which is why you see my profile picture, which includes my lovely wife. And you can see how many coins you've given away as well, which cause you've given to. You, you can see how you're doing compared to your friends, and you can add more friends. And you're also allowed to approve and reject friends, just like you can in Facebook. So you can find Facebook friends, you can find friends by email, and it pulls the email addresses from your address book. And it'll show you which ones are part of CareZone already and which ones uh, need to be invited. When you're ready to give to a cause, click on the Causes tab. It'll show you a listing of all the causes we, we're uh, supporting. And let's say you want to save a puppy. You get a more detailed view of um, you know, first a bigger picture, um, who is helping you uh, save a puppy, and, uh, and other details such as how you can get involved. Lastly, you select Give Now and Confirm, and that's all it took. When you're ready to redeem rewards for yourself, you click on the Rewards tab, select a reward from the list, visit the outlet. Once you've informed the cashier that you're going to be using my coins instead of cash, you simply hit Redeem Now, again Confirm, it gives you back a verification code, and you share that with the cashier, and you get the reward. Simple as that. So it was easy, and it was instant. So that, in a nutshell, is CareZone. So Ritesh, what kind of impact are you hoping that CareZone achieves within the region, and how do you see it evolving? Um, basically, we'd like to you know, get consumers to stop and think about their everyday actions, to make active choices about where they spend their time and money. Um, so that's one. Um, we hope to be able to expand to the rest of the region once we've gotten some traction in the UAE uh, and, and hopefully you know, further out from the region as well to other regions. Um, and, and over time we also hope to plan to add more functionality. I mean uh, a mobile app is just one way that we can enable the platform. There are many other things that we have planned for the future as well, lots of ideas. Awesome, so how can other people get involved? Um, well, we're looking for partners to start off with, uh, more and more places for people to be able to use this app, more places to show that they care, um, so retailers. Uh, we're looking for advertisers who have a message that they would like to spread uh, amongst our users, uh, people who are very passionate, who are looking for ways to go out of their way to support brands that care. Um, we're looking for sponsors to help us with our operating costs. Uh, we're looking for investors to help us grow outside of the UAE eventually. Um, we're also looking for causes. We want people to be able to support their causes through CareZone no matter what their favorite cause is. And lastly, we, we want as many users as possible to be using CareZone for, again, their everyday activities. Um, so, so essentially they can visit our website, care-zone.com, go to our Facebook page, like us there, Twitter, and, and lastly download the app and use it on, on an everyday basis. Awesome. Wicked. Um, thank you, Ritesh, for taking the time to explain to us exactly what CareZone is about and what sort of impact that you're hoping to achieve. And, you know, hopefully everybody out there uh, can download the app and check it out. And we look forward to seeing more from you. Thanks for having me. Pleasure. Good luck. Thanks.